Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Cheap Pat, and today, bringing you guys another Clash Royale episode from the floor of my old apartment. I'm still in the process of moving in. I know a lot of people were asking for a room tour or an office tour, uh, and I'll definitely make sure to do that as soon as I'm nice and moved in. But for now, we're gonna be enjoying Clash Royale on the comfort of my carpet, and uh, hopefully I don't have all the blood leave my legs during this video. So let's just go ahead and get into it right now and start off our push. Now I'm at 5,192 trophies. I'm actually keeping up pretty well in the trophy count for the beginning of the season. You can see I'm number 622 in the world uh, with 20 days left, which honestly, I've been at like 10,000 in the world with like two days remaining and then pushed up to the top 300. So the fact that I'm already in the top couple hundred is really good for us. And let's go ahead and push today using this P.E.K.K.A. deck that I showed you yesterday. Uh, it has the P.E.K.K.A., it has Execution or Tornado, and then it has Bridge Spam. So three different types of cards, I guess, or genres of cards thrown together in a deck. And it actually works really well. So let's go ahead and get into battle number one. Now, the decks that I end up struggling with uh, when I'm playing this deck are decks that use Inferno Tower. So I'm really hoping I don't face people with Inferno Tower today. Also, three Musketeers can be a little bit sweaty uh, when I'm playing against in this deck. So I wanna make sure I'm uh, pretty careful against those. I'm getting ready right here. Maybe I can make my opponent play something first. I don't feel too comfortable starting with a P.E.K.K.A., but I guess I will. And he's gonna play a Night Witch. And just like that, guys, oh man, this is so bad. Just like that, we're gonna take so much damage right here. Uh, doing the best that we can, but I think we're just gonna get completely blasted. And that's why you don't like to play the starting card, because you just get owned, uh, which is what happened right there. Now let's get our arrows going down to help out. Arrows are gonna help out as the Battle Ram makes its way forward. Looks like the Battle Ram's gonna run into the tower. The P.E.K.K.A. might even get a hit. Very nicely done from the P.E.K.K.A. right there to help save face. Meanwhile, that Night Witch did pound our tower a little bit. So overall, it's gonna be close to an even trade, but I could have dominated this guy if I simply had my P.E.K.K.A. on the right side of the map. So instead, let's just go ahead and continue. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see what he does first. I think he might have an Elixir lead. So let's just go ahead and hold on right here. I'll play my Bandit first since he hasn't played anything. Looks like he's going to play some minions. I do have Executioner, which is going to work super well uh, against these minions. So I'll play those right here. Let's go ahead and get, get those going down. Looks like this Giant's going to go in, though. Uh, that should be okay. I'll play the Night Witch right here. Night Witch should be able to clean up as these minions go in. And uh, with only his Night Witch remaining, I'm going to go ahead and suck everything up over here. Just to make sure we kill this Night Witch and uh, eventually take out those bats. That's going to be fine right there. He's going really aggressive for the King Tower, and I don't really mind that. I'll let him do his thing. Uh, fortunately for him, his miner's out of range of both my towers. That was a really nice placement if he meant to do that on purpose. And as we get ready, I'll play my P.E.K.K.A. on the left-hand side of the map because it seems like he's pivoted uh, to run away from my P.E.K.K.A. So let, let's see. He's going for the King Tower right now. I'm just going to keep that in mind. I've got the arrows. I've got my uh, poison spell. I've got a couple of other things. I'm going to play my arrows first. If he plays Minion Horde, I've got Executioner. So let's see what he does right here. There's the Executioner, guys. We baited him into that perfectly. Looks like that's going to go down. I'll actually end up playing a Battle Ram. Then I'm going to tornado this giant closer to my P.E.K.K.A. That giant is going nowhere. Looks like we actually will connect onto the tower right there, which is super nice. I've got another Night Witch right here. This Executioner is just crushing it. And waiting to see on what he plays next, guys. Can you say a comeback? Because this battle is looking so good. Poison spells going down onto everything. Bandit's going to lock onto the tower. Night Witch is still doing work as well. We have this dude running... For his life right now and let's go ahead and get ready guys and about to cheese him with something right here actually no let's uh let's get our pekka ready in a moment to help deal with this so pekka's gonna go down right here i've got my tornado to help suck everything together to take it out it looks like that's actually gonna work a little bit against me because the pekka would have taken out the night witch first but still with 160 hp left guys i don't see a way we're really gonna end up losing this battle Looks like this poison spell is going to go down right here. He's going to play his fireball to try to pick up a last second victory, but that's going to be GG well played. A great comeback victory after a pretty interesting start to the game, and uh, we sort of held on right there to pick up the W. I really feel like my deck was super good against his. We're even going to pick up a giant chest, which is great because we really need bats right now, and uh, overall that's going to put us at 5,220 as well as put us inside of Master 2 and 497th in the world. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and get into battle number two. And we, we definitely, you know, our deck definitely beat his deck. A lot of people have been talking about how at the top of the leaderboard, it seems like it's rock, paper, scissors as far as the decks that are in the meta. I definitely feel like our deck was the rock and his deck was the scissors right there. And if we could smash him as long as we played it right, I'm going to go ahead and get ready with my Executioner right here. He could be playing Hog Rider, so I've got Tornado ready for the other side of the map. Looks like he's going to play the Knight instead. And as this Ice Spirit runs through, I'm hoping it actually freezes my Executioner, just because it would have been nice right there. 
Here goes the baby dragon. That's going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and get ready over here with the bandit and the night witch. And then I'm even going to tornado everything backwards just to help deal with this uh, push over here. Doesn't look like we're really going to get too much done, but it's still going to be fine. All in all, not the worst trade in the world. Bats will go down onto this bowler right here. Perfectly done right there to clean up that bowler with one bat to spare. And uh, this game is basically even after the first little pushes. Now, Pekka is going to be great for this hog rider. Pekka was played in a position where that Ice Spirit's going to end up freezing it, so the Hog Rider's going to get an extra hit. Nicely done from him. But uh, we can just go ahead and reset in a moment, and let's see how we want to deal with Toaster. Now, does he have Inferno Tower? If he has Inferno Tower, that counters us. He is definitely going to have the counter to us if he has Inferno Tower. Instead, he's going to end up playing a couple of other things, so we'll just go ahead and sneak our Battle Ram on by. Don't tell anyone, but our Battle Ram's making its way towards the tower. He's going to play a Tornado, and it's actually going to switch the aggro to my Battle Ram? Are you serious? So instead of even messing with anything right here, let's play some arrows because he's playing the Goblin Gang. Oh, where was it? Okay, that's not fun. I thought he had Goblin Gang. Let's play our Night Witch. Night Witch, notice how I played it away from my tower so the Baby Dragon doesn't damage the uh, tower as well. Looks like we're still going to take crazy damage because my tower was shooting the baby dragon. Oh, I predicted the arrows. Now, I have a problem right now, guys. I got to admit to you, I have a problem where I go for the prediction play too often. And going for that prediction goblin gang was just stupid. And that ended up costing us a lot right there. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And uh, we are in some pretty juicy trouble right now going into the rest of this battle. Now, let's play our Executioner. This should be able to clean up the Baby Dragon. He's going to play a Lightning Spell, though, so that's going to end up doing its thing. Let's get our P.E.K.K.A. down right here. We should be able to storm this side over here. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and play my Battle Ram and my Bandits. Maybe we can do something. Uh, I'm trying to play Arrows to try to do something over here. And as the P.E.K.K.A. runs through, let's go ahead and poison this down. Does this dude have Goblin? Does this dude not have Goblin Gang? I keep playing like this dude is Goblin Gang, but instead it's not going to do anything. Guys, we uh, we are pretty much lost this one. We're uh, not looking good at all. Let's go and get our Night Witch Battle Ram ready right here. I'm going to just tornado everything trying to get it backwards. Looks like it's only going to hit the Baby Dragon, which is very unfortunate. And it looks like this game is just a completely toast right here. And yeah, we, we let too many Hog Rider hits make its way through, guys. Nothing else to say right there. This one is going to be a complete bust, and the fact that he only has 5,197 trophies is uh, going to mean we're going to lose a lot of trophies on this one, but still, GG well played against Toaster. Let's go ahead and get into the third battle and see if we can pick these trophies back up. Feels bad to lose 31 trophies inside of the battle, but that's going to be okay. And we're back down to Master 1, as is life. All right, battle number three. Let's keep it going. No need to tilt off that last one. Looks like we're facing VNC Chai Fio. Okay, and as we get ready, let's see what he wants to do. Throw a little good luck out there. And looks like he's not going to play too much. I'll play my Night Witch right here. I can counter with my P.E.K.K.A. if I need to. So let's see what he does. He's going to play a Bowler. Huh. Not really sure what I want to do against this Bowler quite yet. I guess I'll play a P.E.K.K.A. on the same side. And maybe we can make something happen right here. Alright, here's the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A.'s going to go in. Poison's going to go in. P.E.K.K.A. isn't affected by the Bowler. I'm hoping that the Night Witch would avoid some of this stuff, but it doesn't look like it. P.E.K.K.A.'s going to make its way to the Bowler eventually. He spends a decent chunk of elixir defending. I don't know the exact count right now. So I gotta. I wish I knew the elixir count right now, but let's go ahead and get this ready right here. Uh oh. Okay, we need to hit the bowler with one shell of this arrow. That's gonna work. Bandit's gonna go over to these skeletons. We're gonna take a lot of skeleton damage, more than what I would have wanted. Oh, that is brutal right there. Definitely not what we wanted. Let's get a battle ram going though. Maybe we can catch him off guard. He's gonna play a bowler. Bowler will not lack or knock the Battle Ram back, which is nice, but the Tornado will, and the Bandit just can't charge up during that Tornado shot. Man, this is a struggle of a battle already, and we're going to have to find a way to break through this guy's defenses, or else we're going to be in a lot of trouble. He's playing Splash Yard, so let's keep that in mind, and as this Bowler makes its way across, we'll play the Pekka right here. Pekka will go ahead and hop onto this Bowler. Not too shabby. Let's play our Night Witch. Night Witch is going to go in right here. As everything goes through, I've got the bandit to help out. Electro Wizard's going to kill the bats one by one, but it will save my, uh, my Night Witch some HP. Looks like the bandit's going to lock onto the tower. We actually have a decent chunk of stuff onto the tower right here, and just like that, that tower's going to get taken all the way down below 700 HP. Perfectly done. As this, night, or as this uh, baby dragon goes over, we'll play an Executioner. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby for a little bit of a comeback right there. I was feeling a little worried. But we can just calm ourselves down right here. 602 damage left. I've got a poison spell for this uh, for this bowler right here. Hopefully we can do some work against him. This should guarantee that we're basically going to knock out 
a lot of his stuff before it happens. Let's get the P.E.K.K.A. going down before anything else. I'm going to even suck the Tornado backwards right here. That's going to work out decently well against some of this. Uh, you have to arrow, though. Wow, those skeletons piled up so fast. Are you serious? That's going to be so much damage right there. And P.E.K.K.A. will get close to chopping down the bowler, but close, but no cigar. And it looks like with only 26 seconds left, I don't think we're going to be able to do too much, and this one's going to end up... Uh, going into double elixir just because he has this poison spell right here, which is going to be pretty problematic. Let's go ahead and get our uh, our Night Witch down. Meanwhile, I put a Battle Ram in the other lane just to make sure we were fine. He missed the poison spell? What? What? No way. Oh, man. I would be so mad if I was this guy. Missing his poison spell right there is brutal. And we're back up to Master 2. Man, he missed the poison. He got so greedy with that poison spell. Oh, I've missed some poison spells in my life. I usually don't miss the one that clinches the game. Whenever you have it, like a chance to take down that tower, don't get too cute with it and try to put it like one tile away from winning because that's exactly what happens. And that dude lost 31 trophies because of it. I feel like he was in a pretty good position and he completely blew it by doing that. So uh, let's just go ahead and get ready right now and prepare for this next push. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have a bandit facing down a giant, which isn't really what you want. I'm going to wait to the last second to play my executioner. Uh, Bandit's just going to slowly run to its death over there. And it's going to run into this giant. And I do have Executioner Tornado, which is nice. I'll let my Executioner do work here. Actually, this uh, Miner is going to prove to be pretty annoying. So now we've got to save up our P.E.K.K.A. But that's not the worst thing in the world, guys. P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down. Meanwhile, the Battle Ram is going to be uncounterable because he spent all of his Elixir. Lumberjack's going to go in. Still, we're only going to take a little bit of damage right there on that right-hand tower. Meanwhile, we have a full health P.E.K.K.A. just charging down the lane. Lumberjack's going to run through. Not too worried about him. Look how fast that Lumberjack is, though. And now with the Night Witch, with the P.E.K.K.A., we should be looking pretty good right now. Musketeer is going to try, try to do its best. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. is going to smack it once in the face, though. The Night Witch still has HP left to charge down this tower. Spawn some more bats. Doesn't look like it's going to be able to. And uh, that'll be the end of that push. But still feeling pretty good about the beginning of this game. And I'll go ahead and get ready with a, another push in a moment. Now, let's just play our Bandit over here. I'm going to make sure that he doesn't get to play his Giant down this side. He'll play his Miner, so that's going to be a 3 Elixir for 3 Elixir trade. Not too terrible, considering the position that we were in. I'm going to start with an Executioner over here. Let's see what this dude's going to end up playing. Uh, but with Fireball... Okay, so he has Fireball inside of this deck. That's good to know. He's got a Giant over here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this Giant right now. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about any of this, guys. Let's get this going down here. Let's get a Night Witch going down here. We're going to charge down that other tower, but he's going to start doing work over here. He's basically just beating us down with these giant pushes right now. And getting our bandit ready to kill this giant. Then go to this musketeer right here. It should work out pretty well. We're going to lose our tower, but we did get more king tower damage than he did. Our bandit's even going to turn around and attack that crown tower. He's not going to respond to that crown tower being attacked, which is just absurd. So that's going to be so good for us. And now that we're in double elixir, we can defend against this giant much better. Let's get our P.E.K.K.A. ready to deal with this giant. Again, we have our P.E.K.K.A. ready to deal with this giant. What is he going to play? And what is he doing? Is he just not going to play anything right now? It looks like this dude is just sort of giving up hope right now. Poison spell is going to go down. Why would this dude give up the battle? It doesn't look like he did. He must have just messed up somehow. Poison spell plus barbarians are going to start crushing the tower on that side. He tried to defend way too late. That should be the end of the battle right there. Miner's going to go in. Uh, but simply too little too late as the P.E.K.K.A. is going down right now. And this is going to be GG well played in just a moment. Zap's going to go in. Looks like that Mega Minion's going down. P.E.K.K.A.'s going to make its way to the tower. Let's go ahead and suck this Mega Minion backwards. GG well played against Execute for a nice victory. And for some reason, he went AFK. But hey, not my problem. Not my issue. 28 trophies for us. And that's all that matters right there. Three crowns to one. And a 5,248 trophies. Puts us at number 500 in the world. I swear we... Okay, yeah. That sounds about right. 500 in the world. Not too bad at all. And uh, we've made some pretty good push so far. I guess today we ended up going 3-1 and one inside of our battle, so we gained a decent amount of trophies. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to keep up the trophy push, guys. I really love using this deck. Again, if you guys want to try out this deck, if you have the legendary cards required, make sure you do it. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully inside of the next video, actually like two videos from now, I'll see you guys inside of my new apartment. And uh, that is going to wrap it up. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.